Okay, so now that we have the entire unit assembled and all components are in place, we can start filling it up and uh, get it ready to, to start. So we have this, this arm that raises and lowers into the bath, and we have a thousand milliliter or one liter evaporating flask on here. I'm going to fill this reservoir with water. This can be distilled, this can be tap. Really, it has very, very little effect on the process except that this bath does heat and will gently heat the evaporation flask. About one gallon or so is what you need to get the proper level. On the rear, you see a minimum and maximum. And when you have, when you raise and lower, you'll see the displacement take place. We have the heater that we can turn on and off and we can adjust. Really, we can do this at just about room temperature. We can raise it up to uh, maybe 40 C and really get this process moving a little bit faster. We have a start stop button for controlling the rotation. Now this is a completely empty system right now. We are not pulling vacuum on it or anything, but we have it set to 200 RPMs. You can go faster if you want. You can go slower depending on what you have and the viscosity. Bath temp, like I said, we can do right at room temperature. So whatever we are, our ambient temperature is, we can keep it just at 22, 28 C. We can raise it up a little bit. We have a timer that if you'd like to have this timed, if you're gonna walk away from it and you wanna make sure that the whole process doesn't get too far, you can set a timer and the machine will actually stop. It will still pull vacuum, so it's best to not go too far. Stop the rotation. Turn off the heat for now. You can raise it up. And then we're going to show you how to fill and make sure that we have the proper chilling going on with the evaporator here.